What's up everybody? In today's episode, I'm talking about my brand new toy, the Zion Crane 2 3-axis gimbal. So for those of you new to the channel and you don't know me, my name is Matt Eldon and I am a digital media filmmaker here in Alberta. Recently I had the opportunity to pick up the Zion Crane 2 for a project that I was um, hired to do for a local brewery. They brought me on to create a promo video that they could use on social media for bringing awareness to their brand, their brewery, and their beers. And so I thought I would do a review based on my experience with the Zion Crane. That was my first real opportunity to use the Zion Crane, and this is what I made. My favorite features of the Crane 2 is it's compact and easy to set up. I do a ton of traveling to and from clients or if I'm out doing some hiking and shooting uh, travel videos. It's just really easy to take with me. Another thing I like about it as well is that it's perfectly balanced horizontally so i do some real estate video it's really important that with those videos you're getting really stable shots it's not very appealing to prospective buyers when the camera's bobbling back and forth which is something i've run into trying to use stabilizers like the glide cam nothing against those stabilizers they work great for certain app applications like fast action type stuff but for what i do mostly this is the perfect tool for me and so because this is so easy to set up and take down it saves a ton of time and time is money in my line of work another thing too is it really allows me to get in there up close nice and tight for those real close-up b-roll shots sorry i'm just trying to watch where i'm walking here there's a ton of snow on the ground so with more manual stabilizers like glide cam or fly cam you have to counterbalance the weight of the camera with um, metal plates on the bottom it's uh can be quite challenging to get those uh, close-up shots and uh you know without bumping those weights so another really cool feature of the crane um and some of their other products as well is the ZY Play app. And once you actually connect the app, oh. <sighs> that was cool. Some uh, people on a snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, maybe I should go walk on the creek, but I was afraid of falling in. But hey, they got uh, two people on a snowmobile on the creek and they're not falling in. So anyway, one other point that I wanted to make is that Zion has developed an app that allows you to do some pretty cool features. And the one thing that the app does that comes in super handy for me is the ability to grab a focal point on the app and have the crane basically adjust accordingly to uh, keep that uh, focal point in frame. So when I'm shooting real estate, I can pick something in a room 
and if I'm trying to step carefully around a dresser or some kind of furniture like that, the crane can do all the work for me. I don't have to worry about watching where I'm going really and uh, you know making sure that I'm still getting that that object in frame. So the crane too, the thing that makes it so appealing is it has the focus wheel on the side. That being said, natively it only is currently working with the Canon cameras but Zion Tech is such an innovative company that recently they've come out with a workaround so that um, folks that have the Zion Crane 2 can use the focus wheel. So it's actually a little motorized apparatus that attaches to the front and attaches to your lens will actually spin um, the focus dial on your lens. Not a huge concern for me because a lot of the shots that I do, I actually use my manual lens, which is the Laowa 7.5 millimeter for the micro four thirds. I'm using the Panasonic GH5. And so when I set that lens to infinity, everything is in focus anyway. So having the uh, dial really isn't a huge deal for me. Um, and generally when I'm shooting B-roll and I'm up really close to something, as long as I'm keeping the same distance, um, I know things are gonna be in focus. So I'm gonna put a link in the description. If you're interested in picking up a stabilizer for your camera, I highly recommend the Crane 2. This is not a sponsored video. Just wanted to make this on my own just cause I'm a fan of the product. After using it for a while, I figured I could do a decent uh, little review of it. So. I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe, shoot me, uh, shoot me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you want me to uh, do a future video on uh, a certain something something, um, just leave me a comment. We'll catch you in the next video. Go, go.